Hello reformers and welcome back to Porizno. Now, when we left off, we were about to engage General Tokugawa. Now, <laughs> I haven't actually done that and it's pretty amazing how I wasn't able to do that really because he was very, very close by. You saw him in the previous episode. He basically, you know, could have attacked us at any point. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to try and be a little bit cheeky here, because if he attempts to intercept me, then, okay, fine, no problem, that's, you know, that's fair, but I'm not going to go and actively seek a battle with him, and instead, I'm just going to construct this siege tower, and that's exactly what I did. So I've now constructed the siege tower, and we are able to get into Harath Castle, so this is going to be pretty amusing, I am very much hoping I'll be able to win this siege without having to reconstruct the siege tower. If I'm if I'm having to reconstruct the siege tower, I think we'll have, uh, suffice it to say, relatively difficult times ahead of us. Because I have a feeling that the reason why the previous Zan fellow, the you know the general Yachimochi, I believe the reason why he charged in is because he is a unique spawn rather than an actual vassal and so I have a bad feeling that if we were to engage General Tokugawa we would most likely have an issue on our hands very very similar to what we've always been dealing with with the Zan of of late and that is of course for them to just stand there and not do anything. So hopefully we're going to be in a much, much better position if we are able to take Harath Castle. I'll actually be able to speak to the priest himself. And then it seems like we might have to go and take Westray Castle as well, which is something I certainly don't particularly want to do. I, d I don't personally feel like that would be, you know, a good idea because that's going to... Well, it's going to require us to actually fight even more than I would like as well. Because, personally, I'd rather be fighting other kinds of vassals. You know, I'd rather be fighting the Hakon or something like that. But obviously, if that affliction affects them as well, where they are, you know, passive as anything. You know, they're just passive as really, really, really bad, actually. But yes, if that is indeed the case and every single vassal is affected then I'm not entirely sure if I can continue the series because the whole the whole sort of interactability between the vassals and actually being able to fight them is part of the charm you know it's part of the charm you don't want to be just you know running running into these guys and them just standing there and doing nothing so yeah hopefully it's not going to affect everyone and it's only affecting the Zan at the moment I very much hope that that is indeed the case but who knows, we're gonna find out I guess as time goes on. Anyway, I'm gonna, I think I'm probably just going to allow people just to charge in here because there's only 300 or so and I think we probably have a pretty decent advantage with our units here with the exception of if they have a bunch of uh, Zan Kamikaze warriors and black warriors. They do, they do have some black warriors so that's a bit of a, hmm, that's a bit of a bone of contention there but I think we should be fine. It really just depends on if we can get into the battlements. It seems like... M look at these. Look at these guys. Even in sieges, they are attempting to stay away from from fighting. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on here with these guys, really. It's it's very strange. Going to heal all of my units if I can. There we go. And... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, everyone's just kind of standing there. Just in like a time warp, you know, sort of freeze there. Time freeze sort of thing. Whoa, okay. Well, that was impressive. Anyway, can you, could you uh, just, yeah, 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 could you, could you just move a little bit more? Yeah, there we go, there we go, thank you very much. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And now hopefully I'll be able to just kill these guys. Well, okay, hopefully, okay, hopefully I'm not going to get shot. Please do not kill me, please do not kill me. I would very much appreciate it if I would not die. Can I, you yeah, know, I can heal myself a little bit. Going to take an arrow or two. Give me that, thank you very much. Because you never know, we might need some additional arrows up here. Then this is... These are the main people, actually. These are the main people up here that are probably going to be the most threatening toward our forces at the moment. So we need to be a little bit careful and a little bit cautious here as well because... Oh, oh really? Did I really take that much damage from this guy's polearm? Are you serious? Come on now. 
There's no way I took that much damage from this guy's polearm. I don't believe it. Not for one second. I must have gotten shot from the ground or something like that. That is much more likely. But thankfully, these are relatively easy to take out. And now I can take some arrows. Give me those arrows. Oh, yes. And now hopefully I'll be able to... Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, yes, as soon as I've cleared out these archers, we can actually, you know, rain down some death upon some of the other guys, but apparently our forces were so good that they just murdered them all very, very easily indeed. Okay, well, I'm going to be taking a couple of units here. I don't really, don't really require them, I suppose, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so we are good. We are actually really, really good right now. Oh yeah, by the way, I think one of you may have suggested that I get some Geldarin boots. I can't remember the exact name of them, but maybe if I go to one of the Elantoran towns and look around a little bit, I can apparently get some much better boots that have about 10 more leg armor or so, maybe a little bit more than that or less or whatever, but they are an upgrade because they also have the magical property of Fleet Soul. So obviously that's going to give me that plus two to athletics, which I apparently holds so dear. Oh yes, I, I love it apparently, yes. Anyway, I'm going to be asking no rewards here because... Should I, actually? Uh, I, I'm going to ask no rewards, to be honest, because they're, she, Queen Arwen is just going to give it to a Tolranian again. And that's, that's, in my opinion, just disappointing. So I'd rather just avoid the disappointment altogether and just basically have her you know, do whatever she wants with the castle. Thankfully, though, I can now go in to Harath Castle, and obviously, considering we're not at war against anyone, with the exception of the Hakon, I can just leave it alone, and I don't even need to wait for anyone to garrison it. So, let's speak to the priest. Priest Kalein, that is you, correct? That is who I am. I used to be full of life, full of zeal and religion. I am now a priest in all but name. I grow old and my mind grows old along with me. His eyes grow distant for a second, then turn back to you. Did Haragoth send you? He seeks the book, does he not? Yes, and I also want the knowledge of the whereabouts of the raider Sakar Frosttongue. Uh, okay, do I? <laughs> I have not heard that name ever before in this questline, but apparently I do. Maybe it's because I really needed to speak to the guy at Westray Castle first. Anyway, I will tell you where he and the liar are, but do me a favor first. You must kill me. I would like to quicken my journey to the afterlife. Please do it. Mm, I can help your mission with 500 coins. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, maybe you are right after all. The new gods still need me. Perhaps. You can find the rogue Sakar at Wotin Castle. He hands you the book after searching it for a while in his library. After searching for it, of course. Okay, so that's fantastic. So, Wotin Castle. Please do not... Uh, please don't be another Zan place. <laughs> if it's another Zan place, I'm going to be so sad. No, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it. It looks like I might get a little bit lucky here. Alright, so let's go into the locations. What is it now? Wotin? Wotin Castle. Wotin Castle. Where are you? There you are. Hmm. It is apparently a Valahir clan thief. Well, that's nice. All right, so apparently we're going to go and head over there. But um, yes, I'm hopeful that this is... I, I don't know, I'm hopeful that I don't have to go to Westray Castle and I can kind of just avoid that particular step in the quest, perhaps? I mean, maybe I'm going to be lucky and I'll be able to do that because I believe, what wasn't it? It wasn't it Tar Tar Taragith or whoever, uh, wait a minute, was it Taragith or the other fellow? I think it might have been the unusual hermit, 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 <laughs> hermit, yes. I think it might have been the unusual hermit that said that I could do one or the other, I think. So hopefully this is going to result in us having a much, much better time of things because, well, you know me, I don't particularly appreciate fighting the Zan. Oh, there we go. We've eliminated the Hakon. The Elantorans have taken Arish from the Hakon Empire and they are no more and a number of them have already defected or have been taken prisoner by the Elantorans. So that is wonderful. And that means... 
that we have one less faction to worry about. So the Tolranians have been eliminated, the Hakon have been eliminated, obviously the Geldarans have already been eliminated, and who else do we have to worry about? Well, obviously the Dwarves are doing a pretty decent job at keeping all of their all of their thieves. I don't know who could be at war against them, to be honest. Obviously, we took a mana ourselves. There's still one castle down there of the Zans. I think we mainly need to worry about the Draharans at the moment. The Draharans are certainly quite a big thorn in our side, or they will be relatively soon. Obviously, the Zan, they're losing... A, well, they're not really losing anything so much. I mean, they have such a wide array of different territories already conquered that it's going to take us quite a long time to get through all of those. But once we declare war against them again, I think the Elantorans will be ready to capture a couple of things relatively quickly. So, mm, well, we're going to see how that goes as well. Anyway, now, Wotan Castle, what do we have to do here? You need to find the Rogue Sakaard Wotan Castle, so I can assume he's in the actual castle. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello there. Sakar Frost Tongue, I come to you looking for the liar of Uralis. Another one? Hmm. Maybe you're smarter. The rest of you seekers have died trying. I give you two options. Pay me 3,000 and I'll tell you where they are, or get out of my sight. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, sure. Take the 3,000. I will not give any more information to you. Are you... Really? Oh, uh, well... <laughs> I can actually do other things. I don't really mind about losing the, the 3,000, by the way, because it's not really, you know, a big, a big deal. Anyway, there is another option. You die if you don't tell me where they are. All right, so let's fight outside. Okay, so apparently that is what is required. Okay, so he has some Valahir Huskars, some Ulas, and some Jarls. I don't really find that to be too intimidating. You can still save many lives. It is too late. My god Valhar wants your blood. You're nothing more than a fool, and I'll drink beer in your skull tonight. Then I'll send your skull to Taragrith. Oh, okay. Does he know his address? <laughs> does he know his address? He probably does. Who knows? Well, anyway, um, yes, I'm pretty sure, considering this guy is a unique spawn, that he is going to be charging at us. I think he will be, so this is going to be... Well... A kind of nice change of pace because personally I I am starting to grow weary of dealing with the Zan so much and I'm very much looking forward to the new version of Perizno. No, no idea when it's going to be released or anything but I would like to see the Jin dynasty come in and do as much damage as possible to the Zan because they deserve it. They really do. They, they are just extremely annoying. I mean, they have two spearheads per vassal. And yes, I know, you know, they don't particularly have that many vassals. I think they have, what is it now, five or six different vassals. But yeah, it is quite annoying to have to deal with so many spearheads all the time. And, you know, obviously the... The main problem is them not attacking. If they would attack, then it would be quite amusing. But yeah, other than that, I'm probably going to try and split the Valahir clan. You Should I try and split them? I, I don't really see the necessity to do that either. But yeah, I mean, they have shields. I mean, look at these guys. They actually have shields, which is kind of a shame. But as you can see, most of... Look at this. This is quite nice. We have split the enemy's forces in such a wonderful way that it looks like... My cavalry is dealing with one band, you know, one contingent of the enemy, and our archers are dealing with the other, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I, I would wish for more of those kinds of situations, where we have to use one particular kind of, of troop to do something, and so on and so forth. A little bit more strategy, I suppose. I suppose is what I'm asking for, but anyway, there you go. That was easy enough, wasn't it? I really didn't even have to do anything, and they had shields, so my archery was relatively pointless, but there you go. What do you want? Forget about it, I'm leaving. What? How? Why am I... <laughs> why am I forgetting about it? No, I don't want to forget about it. Thank you very much. Where are you? Did I... Ah, oh, there we go. You loot the corpse of Sakaar and take the liar that he brought with him. You can now go back and report to Taragith. Ah, fantastic. So does that mean... Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I need to... Yeah. Yeah, I need to do both. I actually do need to do both. Well, that is a big, big problem, isn't it? Okay, well, Amana is going to take me a bit of time to get back to, so I suppose I'll see you when we're back there. Ah, look at this. This is 
somewhat new to me. I don't think I've ever seen this this screen before. I think maybe once or twice before in the past. Not a, I'm not entirely sure which mod it was or anything like that, but it's kind of nice to actually see the particular vassal in question who is leaving, you know, their previous faction and joining your faction. So that's cool. So what is his name? Lord Tacitus. He's apparently joined us, and as you can see, I'm still moving down. I'm just passing Galway here, and uh, yes, things are things are going fine. I have not encountered any Zan units or anything like that. I think General Yuan. I did pass General Yuan, and he was attempting to attack us, but I just ignored him. I literally just ignored him. He was just like, "Oh, you're going to ignore me then? Uh, okay." And then he just he just left. So that was that's absolutely fine. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so thankfully we are now here and I can head into the tavern and speak to him and hopefully he will not require the uh, biography, but I personally feel like he... Oh, I have the book and the liar? Do I, do I not need the book? You've done a great job. Here, let me take those. <laughs> did I, did I do something to sort of circumvent that particular step? Or am I breaking the quest right now? I hope I'm not breaking the quest. Ha, ah, of course, I have it right here with me. What? You mean to tell me that I went on this wild goose chase to find those two relic, or one relic, just for some sort of test that you concocted? Indeed, these two relics are going to prove useful to me in my research for the Kingslayer, but they do not provide the answers to where Kingslayer is simply because I have it right here. I did what I did as a test for you. I wanted to see what type of warrior this generation had. You have still done a great favor for me, a consort scout. You brought me two important relics. One, one important relic. As your payment, I shall give you Kingslayer. Someday you will be the one people write stories about. I will make, okay, so now we're, now we're like, oh yes, thank you so much. And so on and so forth. Wait, did he, did he actually give me the sword or? Did, did he? Um, yeah, I, uh, I actually thought to myself, do I have space? And then I was thinking to myself, yeah, I do have space because I seem to remember having three spaces and, uh, hmm, well, that's, that's, yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Well, okay, so here's the thing. I'm probably going to go into the black market, and I'm going to try and find Kingslayer from there. And if I can't, then obviously that's a big shame. But yeah, I'm going to try and fix it by doing that. But I, I, I'm probably not going to use it anyway. As far as I'm aware, it's a two-handed sword. And I'm not a big fan of two-handed swords in general. But... I mean, I can't use my Aegis shield with it, so obviously it's not really a big, big use for me. But I could give it to one of my companions, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is a real shame that I was unable to pick it up. So, yeah, as I say, I'm going to look through the black market, in other words, the cheat menu, and I'm going to try and find it through there. And if I can't, then, well, eh, then it's just gone, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I, I'm not really going to use it myself, and it's not really going to give me a massive advantage or anything like that. So even if I don't get it, then it's not really a big deal. But would have been nice to see something for my efforts, <laughs> wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm going to try and find also the Duelist quest. I'm going to try and look up where that is, because I'd like to be able to participate in that. I think that could be quite fun but it really depends on a number of factors. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.